Hello, <clears throat> it's me, Marshall Malone. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I decided to do an impromptu live stream session. Um, this is probably not the best quality. Uh, I just I saw a comment today that uh, seemed to be expressing um, some frustration. So I decided to uh, follow up because it seemed like a pretty simple solution in my opinion, to teach somebody how to do this. But essentially, I'm going to show how to make a beat in Acid Music Studio 11. Um, really, any digital audio workstation can use this same workflow. There's probably a million videos out there on how to make a beat. So this is definitely not the only one. Um, but And there's definitely more than one way to do it. Um, but I'm going to specifically focus on people that purchased Acid Music Studio uh, and want to make beats with uh, with clips or um, I'm losing my memory <laughs> with beats. I, I feel like I'm talking redundantly, but with um, with prepackaged beats that come with this. So uh, let me go ahead and load up um, this scene real quick. This uh, this is Acid Music Studio 11. This is a little melody uh, beat that I put together, which you heard at the top of the stream. Um, it's really just a compila combination, compilation of different loops that I, I mixed up and, and made a little melody out of. And to show you how I do that, um, it's very simple. So it's really just dragging and dropping. Um, the loops from so i've got tons of loops but let's go to the ones that come with this software but with this version of 11. let me actually back up this is a live stream so i'm probably maybe i should back up for the first first thing you go to do you need to install the software i'm not going to show you how to do that um, but depending on how you get it you probably get an executable from the internet purchase it online it all you know gets downloaded to your computer the install process is pretty easy the one thing I will say is to pay attention to where this folder loop collections goes because you will need to add it to your favorites so that way every time you load up this music studio and you go to explore see this tab down here it'll load up here and it's very easy to access it from there um, once you get it loaded in and you've found where it's at, you know, then you can drag and drop everything. I'm going to start a new project. You've already heard this, um, but just for the sake of showing. And you may hear kids in the background, so that's part of the reason I don't edit. Because to, to record a video and then edit it and all of that stuff, it, it's much easier to live stream. Uh, the videos don't come out as polished, obviously. Uh, but So let's... Um, Let's go through. We've got a rhythm and sound effects collection. This is one of the sets that come with um, Acid Music Studio 11. So let's start. I like to start out with either a bass line that I like or a drum beat that I like. <laughs> and if you watch the original video that I did that was labeled tutorial, I apologize. That really wasn't a full on tutorial. I, I like I said, I was live streaming and just trying it out for the first time. So maybe I should retitle it to where it's not its not a tutorial. And I never set out to create a tutorial. It was just a keyword um, that I targeted. So anyways, uh, enough apologies. This is Arena Cut A. Let's, let's listen to it. It's too fast. And all of these are just variations of the same, of the same beat. Well, it's dropped at one instrument. All right. It's kind of a high pitch filter version. That's pretty cool. I've got a knock at the door, just a minute. my channel where my kids just walk in during a live stream all right hopefully you can hear my voice let me make sure these levels are good I'm gonna turn this beat down just a little bit in y'all's ear 
All right. Okay. So you get the idea. You can kind of preview all of these, find one that you like. All right, let's go with Mad Drums. All right, so you just drop it in, as simple as that. Let me slow down. I'm gonna control Z. I hit control Z to undo that. So you're gonna take this, and you're gonna drag it up to a track, because essentially all of what you see up and down this is a potential track. And I don't know how many tracks you can load. I think it's unlimited. I, I don't know, I've never really gone to that. Maybe the deepest I've ever gone is maybe 20, 30 tracks on a really deep song that I had a bunch of different instruments loaded. So that's, that's your drum beat. Now you can move this down and loop it and that'll loop for you um, if you want to slow it down this is rated at 90 beats per minute so it's actually sped up a little bit so we can go down to 90 or you can come here and it's peaking right out of the box I think it was peaking probably because let me listen to it one more time yeah, sometimes when you speed up the tracks, it'll cause like interference because it's not supposed to be played. So it's not peaking now because it's playing at the correct beats per minute. But it is pretty loud. All right, so let's. Uh, a lot of times I'll go from the beat and then I'll say maybe a bass line. With these headphones, none of these sound that great to me. Normally I don't create music with my headphones on, so usually play it out of my reference. I kind of like that. All right, so say you want to add this, you drop it in just like you did the last track and then see how it sounds. And then, say you want to play around with a pan of the, the different sounds, you can solo it right here with S. And if you, or you can go in reverse and hit mute on all the tracks, it's whatever. And then here, if you drag that down, you see how I dragged that down originally, it will open up some quick controls for you for this particular track. Say I want this to come out of the left about 40%. Let's hear that. making little fine adjustments. All right, so you got a nice little basic, basic beat right there. Um, <clears throat> and from there, you can add in more instruments. Um, and this is just coming out of the hip hop collection. Um, you got strings, synth, vocals, sequence, pad, keys, guitar, effects, and brass, other than drums and bass. And what's cool about these loops is that these are all acidized. And so it doesn't matter what root note the, the um, see how it has a root note down here? It doesn't matter what root note the sample is. When you drop it into a project with the key in A, A or whatever note, it will shift. And so you can drop in different samples that start with different um, root notes and they'll all sync up as long as they're from Sony or not Sony, sorry, Magics. So these acidized loops, that's the great feature of acidized loops is that it, it it takes the thinking out of it. You can just kind of literally just go through and select whatever you want and drop it in. And for the most part, it'll match up. And then whenever you want to change the key, say you want to change the key from A to, to D. You 
I like that. All right. Uh, let's add a, some keys in there. I like that. Let's drag that in here. I'm actually going to select all and to select, it's just like you would in Windows or anything. I'm using a PC. So if you want to select all, the, all of or multiple tracks, you can highlight by selecting all and pressing or just clicking on one and then going to this one right here and clicking shift at the same time. It's the same function in, in Windows, basically. And I'm going to drag those over and I'm going to open with this for a couple bars and then go into this. I'm just trying to think of this in my head of how this is going to sound. It's going to sound good. We'll see. I don't like it. See, sometimes you, you end up experimenting. You like one sound, and then you you end up going in a different direction. So in that instance, I don't think it sounds good. I'll let it play out just to hear it, but I immediately turned me off. I mean, old me from 20 years ago would probably think that'd be cool, but... Uh, I used to be fascinated with the fact that you could just drop sounds in and, and it created music. Um, but I'm a little more particular now. So sometimes you you know you get to a point where the sound is already so full and there's no reason to add anything else to it. Um, that's another thing you'll find with these loops. Yeah, a lot of these, I'm not crazy about a lot of these samples. Let's actually mix and match. Let's go into this rhythm and sound effects collection. Um, let's go into hip hop. <laughs> Old school. You just kind of got to play around with the, the, the loops that they provide to kind of make your own thing. And eventually you'll get through them all and be like, okay, I, I need something else, which is what I will lead to next. I will um, show you some other ways that you can create beats. Uh, I'm going to try to find one more sample to throw in there. This is the, the pains of a live stream. You got to sit here with me. I'm looking through drums. I didn't mean to do that. Uh, let's get one more sound in there. Just one more. Find the right one. There's not a lot of melodies in here. All sound effects and drums. Well, this is a rhythm folder, so. Rhythm and sound effects. Alright, let's go back through here. Woo! Hmm. Oh, they've got little raps Woo! in here. Mets ta casquette, te fais le casse-tête Rien à battre si les keufs qui t'attrapent Funny side note, I'm actually trying to learn French, so this is, this is perfect. <laughs> Mets ta casquette, fais le casse-tête Quand tu chémarres dans le bloc, y'a tout qui s'affaisse Let's try. What's the... 90 beats per minute? Okay. That's the root. Let's just see how this sounds. 
je mets ta casquette, fais le casse-tête. Quand tu schémas dans le bloc, y'a tout qui s'affaisse. Mets ta casquette right. de toutes les facettes. Fais péter le style, un joue pas les cash sex. Mets ta casquette, fais le casse-tête. Quand tu schémas dans le bloc, y'a tout qui s'affaisse. Mets ta casquette de toutes les facettes. Fais péter le style, un joue pas les cash sex. Mets ta casquette comme au skate bar. Mets la old school, fais le mec rap. Fais le mec sûr, le mec qui se l'achète. Mets ta casquette, genre ici c'est ma test. Mets ta casquette, boucle la sapette. Séduisons l'ego qui bouge et les basses fesses. Mets ta casquette, oui c'est ça mec. Mets la genre, ta tête est grosse comme le pastèque. You get the idea. So I just basically dragged all that in there, dropped it, and hit play. And that's, that's how simple it is. Um, if you're having issues, you know, I would suggest... Uh, you know, I'm running a Windows 10 machine. I don't know. I've got a pretty brand new computer that was just built this year. Um, it's like current generation Intel, like 10th generation Intel. Um, I got tons of RAM. I don't know. Uh, it, it's it could be it could be your sound card as well. Um, you know, I've got an external sound card, not an external sound card, but a uh, interface. So I have a PreSonus audio box USB 96 that I use. This actually has internal sound as well, but I don't, I bypass it, but I'm actually using just a minute. I have to take this. Hello. Hello. Hey, I'm live streaming right now. It's okay. I'm just doing, it's okay. What's up? Okay. Give me um, 10 more minutes. Okay. All right. Okay. That's fine. All right. Live streams. All right. Um, so I use the Microsoft mount, uh, Sound Mapper when I'm live streaming because something with the streaming software it helps me capture it. I haven't figured out how to capture um, the sound properly because normally I would use AudioBox uh, ASIO driver or ACO, whatever you want to call it, um, just because that's the driver, that's the native driver for my sound card. But maybe go in here and try to play around with the audio device uh, tab and see if maybe that's causing you issues. Maybe it's not playing the, the beats or I don't know. Um, without specific information, and I can't monitor chat right now because there may be people in the chat. Let me actually pull that up real quick. Bear with me. I don't have my um, this streaming set up properly. Let me see. I have to log in. Just a moment. I hope I'm actually streaming too because I've had issues. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I'm two watching. Okay, I see two watching. I don't see any comments. Um, let me see if I can pull up my stream. Oh, cool. I see you there, Beat Demon 08. Okay, cool, Beat Demon. If you're still here, I thanks for watching. Uh, I'm reading your comment right now, and you can see it. Um, so, yeah, like I said, um, when I installed mine, I paid attention to where... Because I think if you have the same version or something similar, it's going to come with a loop collections. So I would go into your computer and wherever you installed that. And I, let me see if I can explore current folder. All right. So here's where mine is. Mine's under Magics, or it's under Windows Users Public Documents, Magics, Common, Loop Collections. And then, you know, that's where you'll find both of these folders. And so what you'll do is you'll navigate to this in your Explorer right here um and then make sure to add the favorites so like what i did is just this root folder you know it's uh, added to my favorites um that's it um the other thing i would show you is loops is just one way uh since you know i'm trying to be thorough and, and make this basic but also show some other options i've showed this before but you should have soft synth, soft synths that came with the program um I'll, I'll load one up um this one right here and this is something you can play with your keyboard over here I'll... 
make sure that sound is coming through. So you've got, you know, this is some basic synthesizer with some decent sounds. Um, but the way you would make something with this, let me find a sound that might actually go with this beat that I made. Maybe something more rhythmic. So if you have a keyboard, a MIDI keyboard, you could use this. And obviously, if you have real instruments, um, let me see a comment. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see the comment. I might be like, there might be a delay on me seeing your comment and actually when you put it. But like I said, when you, um, whenever you, if you go into your, um, we got all kinds of notifications coming up. Yeah. I don't remember how I got there, but if you rewind, once once the stream's over, you can rewind back to where I showed you. That's where mine went, and I think I installed it in the default area, so it should be under that folder somewhere. Um, other than that, you know, you've got MIDI options, and then to do that, you would insert MIDI track, and then make sure... So you pull this down to add, you know, access more options. Mine is set up to where it's default. This is the instrument that I loaded, that one that I showed you earlier. So it's this um, soft synth over here. You can double click, actually click on the synth itself, and this loads up the the instrument. Every soft soft synth, software synthesizer looks different, so they're going to operate different. Um, but essentially, what that does is it loads this instrument to this track, and then there's multiple ways you can do it. You can insert a MIDI. Now, some let me let me try to remember how to do this. To, or you might right click, create empty click clip. So you can just drag it out like that. And then from there, right click, enable MIDI editing or inline MIDI editing. Um, and you can actually write the notes out. So say this is all in D. So you can write these out like with your mouse. It's not really loud enough, but. I'm gonna take that that verse off. You kind of hear it, but you gotta play around with the mix a little bit. But you get the idea, and you could do that, or you if you're a good keyboardist you can play a solo or you know play the instrument however you want um i don't have any other instruments i do have a drum set over there but it's not hooked up um i did have a guitar but i i got rid of it um but you can plug in guitar into your computer whatever interface you use but uh yeah if you have any any other questions um i'm here for few more minutes i feel like i'm gonna wrap it up uh if you can't figure out where it's at you know just uh, let me know but the way i like the, that's basically how i started i guess you know i started doing this like 20 years ago and i i started using this software or the i guess the beginning of this software is so with the 20 year old version of it but it functioned pretty much the same way and um it, it's not something that i i just kind of taught myself and learned how to do it i think it was a lot more simple back then um the interface has changed a lot and it's got a lot more busy so that's the only thing but um anyways uh thanks for watching i'm gonna i'm gonna sign off here um i might play this out but i'll try to live stream again or maybe create another video um and maybe take clips of this and create like a maybe a tutorial or something because I honestly haven't been in this that much. I, I did like a video remix like about a month ago on my other YouTube channel. And I, I don't even know if I use this software or not. So I use another software called Reaper, which is what I kind of started using after, um, I don't know, 
10 years of using this, I started using something else. So just moved on. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. Oh, okay. I see your question. Um, so you're trying to record, uh, music off your Nintendo switch. So that's a, that, I think I've tried something similar to that. It depends on what you're plugging in into. Um, cause an auxiliary cord should take that signal and send it into whatever you're receiving. Um, it really depends on, and I, and I have a, I can test that one day. I have a switch and I have, um, an empty plug that I could plug it into here to see if it works. Um, but yeah. Um, one thing, if you, if you want to experiment with MIDI, one thing you can do, especially with video game music. Now, older, older video game music, you can, um, let me pull this. Let's see. Actually, I'll just go into Firefox. So vgmusic.com, old, old website um, that I used to go to back in the day. But you can download like old school. Let me see what they have, what categories. NES, Game Boy, SNES, N64, Virtual Boy. So they don't have any, um, they don't have any Switch. Oh, Nintendo Switch. So they have Sonic Mania. So <laughs> somebody actually created these. So what these are, this, this website's a MIDI collection website of video games specifically video games um i'll go to nes uh i mean you can look at here's the nintendo switch there's not much to choose from it um but if you wanted to experiment with this this is a really cool way to make music um let's see let's go to mario super mario bros all right so everybody knows super mario brothers let's find a good song Let's go overworld. Let's get the overworld song. So this is the original. So I'm going to save this file. So I save that. I'm going to pull it to my desktop. See my personal documents. What did I do with it? Just bear with me. So copy, paste, I sometimes talk to myself like this. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this into Acid. Um, let me open up a new project. I'm not even going to say what I just created. Uh, import. So what I'm doing is loading up this MIDI file. This kind of helps people understand what MIDI is too. This is kind of what helped me. So I'm just dragging and dropping. It's easier for me. So it's going to ask me, okay, it didn't ask me. Other software will ask you to split it into different, um, into different uh, tracks, but this automatically did it. So what this is, sure, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give that a shot. I'll try to um, take different sources because I've done... Um, you know what I've done is a live stream by plugging my switch into my computer and live streaming the screen off my switch um, like a while while back. Um, so I was able to get like video and audio into my computer and capture it. So there that was through a capture card though. Um, so I don't know if about the audio. So what this is is um, that MIDI file that I downloaded from that website. And what it does is it creates tracks. So this, um, let's mute this, mute this, mute this. This is the counter melody. So that's the harmony. Oh, what they call it? Like counter melody. Okay, so this is probably the melody. Let's see, and this is the bass line. Sounds kind of cheesy now, but what you can do is you can take it and apply different instruments that you have. So let's um, let's do one at a time. So I'm going to take this solo, this, and then uh, this is already assigned a different. So I'm going to go insert soft synth. Um, let's try sample tank. 
this is a free one and I'll I'll try to put links into some of these. This IK Multimedia is the vendor. Uh, sample Take 4. It's free. Totally free. And it sounds fantastic. Wait. That's not it. Make sure. So I'm going to delete this. Alright. So this is Sample Tank right here. Let's load up a sample. So these are just different instruments based off of old synthesizers. Um, let's see how this one sounds. So to, to do this, you'll double click. I don't like that. And you can also play, if you have a keyboard, you know, um, play over here. But I'm using this simply for the sample. I'm going to see if I can resize this. No. All right. Let's play around with these. See. All right, let's see how that sounds. So this is already on, if I'm, I'm new to this particular software, so give me a minute. So what this does is, let's see, we got tracks. Where are the tracks at? Here, no, that's not the tracks. Came up first. You can load multiple instruments. So this is on track one, if you see right here. And this particular track is assigned to MIDI channel one. So this will play any like anything that comes out of, out of this will be played with that instrument, right? And so we'll go down here to the counter melody and assign um just checking the comments. We'll assign um channel 2, which is already automatically done that. So let's play this. This is just going to isolate the first track. Already an improvement. So then we're going to load in this and then assign a uh, different, maybe a different sound to this. So let's try. Oh, wait, I need to. Oh, yeah, I am adding it into that. Let's see if this worked. So you can take that and um, maybe you want to load in. You can make a little remix. This is going to be wild. Let's add in a bass. All right, so the bass line, I will load in uh, for the third track. We can throw that percussion out. We don't really need it. So let's go to bass. Isolate the basses. Simple saw bass. Something different. Let's... All right, let's try this out with the bass. I don't know if this is going to sound good or not. not playing it for some reason. I don't know if I assigned it right. Let's pull this up. Might have done that wrong. Clicking around. I don't remember how. Oh, okay. So here we go. I might have. Yeah, that's not the right track. So let me go back to this. See if I can drag this or just load up a different instrument. I wanted this on third. And then this needs to be just kind of a lead, not a bass. If you select that, let's try this. That's a sweep. Let's try that out. I feel like that could be lower, maybe. And so here's an another thing you can do. Um, oh, I didn't mean to select that. I'm just going to select this small part right here. Let's 
So I'll select all in event. And I'm going to drag it down. Actually, I can probably change the octave because I'm trying to lower the, the bass a little bit, make it a deeper note. So you can move the note down or you can adjust. Sometimes you can adjust the octave here. Let's see. Transpose. Let's see if that works. Oh, that's MIDI channel 2. You want me to channel 3. Yeah, this new software is. Let's go in here and go back to these settings. Again, this is all new to me. Oh, here we go. Transpose right here. Let's go down 12. Oct 12. All right. All right. Let's play this track real quick. So unsolo this. It's basic. You get the idea. Anyways, hopefully uh, that kind of helps a little bit and um, shows you some different ways to make beats, some little hacks. Um, you can get really in depth with it and you know try different instruments out. I'm gonna put links in the description below for all of the um, stuff that I use in terms of software synthesizers. Um, and you can actually buy some. There's a lot of free stuff out there I would start with. I've kind of reverted back to using the the free stuff to just kind of you know challenge myself. Plus, I lost a lot of my old software, so um, I don't have it anymore. Anyways, um, hopefully this this helped you out a little bit. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, you know if you have any more questions, I only do live streams right now because I'm like I'm not really creating content uh, on this channel unless it's easy because I don't have a lot of time. I have like five other channels that I create content for, plus my job is essentially creating content as well. So uh, create a lot of content and live streams are just easier um, and it's just natural and, and whatnot. So cool. Um, hope this helped. And, uh, you know, like I said, leave, leave your questions in the comments below. See you later.